this DIY is one I've been meaning to do for quite a while. I'm going to show you how to make a cover for your Kindle or for your iPad using a notebook like this one here. I commute to work most days on the tube so I like to have my Kindle with me to keep me entertained on the journey and something like this is a great way to keep it protected in my bag. I am aware that you can buy a Kindle or an iPad cover pretty easily but in my opinion that's just not as fun as making one from a notebook like this. For this DIY you're going to need a notebook that's a bit bigger than your Kindle or your iPad or whatever you're covering. I got a plain brown one from Paper Chase and then I screen printed my clothing line logo on top of it. You'll also need a craft knife, braided elastic, PVA glue and a paintbrush. Start by getting an idea of how many pages you're going to need to cut through to sit your Kindle neatly inside. Then slip a piece of plastic in the back and stick it in place with a loop of sellotape and do the same at the front. We're going to glue this middle stack of pages together and don't want the back cover or the front two pages to accidentally get stuck as well. Put down an old magazine, grab your glue and start painting the sides. The idea is to really cover it with glue so that it will seep into the pages and hold them together really well when it dries. To stop the pages from going wrinkly as they dry, I'm putting two sturdy books on top and then compressing it with some clamps. If you've got a lot of heavy books though, you can get away without using the clamps, I just found this easiest. And I left this overnight to dry and then remove the plastic to cut out the middle the next day. For the cutout, place your Kindle on top of the page and try and get it as centered as possible. Then trace around it with a pencil. You're also going to want to add a notch to help you get the e-reader in and out, but don't put it in the center like I did. I should have put it slightly to the right so that I could push the on button, but oh well, you can learn from my mistake. Then grab your craft knife and a ruler and start cutting around your outline. We're cutting through a lot of pages here, so don't even bother trying to do the whole thing at once because that'll be a mess. Just go slowly and cut through a few pages at once so you can keep your cutout as neat as possible. Every now and then check how far you've got to go and when you get near the bottom put the cutting mat in between the back cover and your block of pages that you've glued together so that you don't accidentally cut through that back cover when you're getting to the bottom of the pages. Keep on checking that your Kindle fits snugly, you want it to sit flush with the pages if possible. Trim off corners and make little adjustments as needed and when you're happy and it's fitting properly grab a nail file or some sandpaper and go over the edges to smooth them down. Next we're going to attach the elastic to the back. So hold one end in place and wrap it around fairly firmly so that it's not too loose to work out how much you're going to need. Then you need to cut two notches the same width as your elastic two centimeters in from the top and the bottom of your book and one centimeter in from the edge. Feed the elastic through it and tape it in place to check that it's not too tight and not too loose so it's going to hold the pages together firmly but not too firmly. And when I was satisfied I then stuck it down properly with a hot glue gun. For the finishing touch we're going to paint glue around the inside edges of our cutout to seal them in place and to strengthen it. I left that to dry for a few hours underneath some heavy books again. Then once it's dry you can put your Kindle in, close the book and it'll be nice and protected in your bag. And then on the tube it'll probably look like you're staring really intently at one particular page of your notebook. I hope you enjoyed that DIY. I think it could also work really well with a book from a thrift store if you didn't want to use a notebook like I did and it could also make a really good gift for someone. If you try it out for yourself I would absolutely love to see pictures of your creations so please feel free to tag me on Twitter or Instagram or wherever you post it. I'm at Charlie Prangley on pretty much every social media. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you're new to my channel I make videos about design and style and DIYs every Saturday and then vlogs about my life here in London every Tuesday. So subscribe if you'd like to see them and I will see you next week where we're going to talk about the fact that my hair is this purpley black colour and I'm going to show you how I achieved that. So I will see you then. Bye!